The following Showtime series contains mature subject matter. Parents may consider some of the program content unsuitable for children. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to the show, really. I, I, I'm thrilled you're all here because I think of you as uh, more than viewers. I think of you as friends. And uh, I'm thrilled you're here because I just broke up with my girlfriend and uh, all my other friends. Yes, I know that comes as a surprise. And all my other friends say, hey, what are you worried about? There's plenty of fish in the sea. What the heck does that mean? What do fish say when they break up? Hey, there's chicks on the beach. Don't worry about it. All right. And uh, so I got, and I'm in the midst of moving into this new place. I just sold my old place for $85,000, and my landlord was real upset about that. He said, you were renting that place. I said, oh, man, I, I forgot. I'll give you some of the money. I feel horrible about this. So I want to tell you all about what's going on in my life, but, uh, you know, first I got to go to the bathroom, and um, you can watch the opening credits, and I should be right back. Okay? <laughs> The theme to Gary show. Gary called me up and asked if I would write his theme song. I'm almost halfway finished. How do you like it so far? How do you like the theme to Gary show? This is the theme to Gary show. The opening theme to Gary show. This is the music that you hear as you watch the credits. We're almost to the part of where I start to whistle. Then we'll watch his Gary Shandling show. the theme to Gary Shandling show. Let's put that stuff in over there. Well, so, uh, that was some theme, huh? <laughs> yeah, how many of you got up and danced to it? Be honest with you. Anyway, I, uh, I just broke up with my girlfriend because, uh, she moved in with another guy, and I said, you know, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> and, uh, I dumped her. Uh, sort of, you know, uh, I don't want to go out with two people. That's a big tab. So I got this new place. I'm starting fresh. This is the uh, stuff I wouldn't trust the movers to touch. This is my own personal stuff. This is my uh, hair dryer. This is a uh, Conair 1500. And God forbid there's a uh, power blackout. I have this portable generator so that uh, it'll keep my hair dryer going because you, you always want to look good even in an emergency. And... Uh, this is my uh, lucky underwear And uh, I'll explain this to you a little later And uh, oh, this is, my, this is my platonic friend, Nancy She lives next door And uh, we've known each other since high school And, and we've never had sex, I, I swear, I swear I swear to God Gary, Hi, man. your new place Thanks. Oh, you look very pretty today. Oh, do you really think so? You don't think my hair looks too much like Bernadette Peters? Well, no, you always, you always ask me that. It looks great. It looks like... Well, sing a little. Let me see. No, all right, it looks great, really. So, how does your new place feel? It feels great. Look, my, my boxes go with the carpeting. That's a very good sign. What's this? Oh, that's a picture of me and uh, Patty. She was also dating these two guys in the background. <laughs> So what are you saving it for? No, no, I, I'm not saving it. I, I just haven't thrown it out yet. Okay, well, I'll just hang on to it. Well, that, this is a fresh start, remember? Right, right. But, I, but I'm over this thing, so it doesn't really matter. You know, Patty gave me this frame on our first day when we were... Oh, all right, you take it. You take that, too. You can, you can put a picture of uh, you and Steve in there. How are you guys getting along? Well, I have hopes. Well, good. Hopes are good. You know, you should have hopes, too, Gary. This place is going to be great for I know. you. No, I do feel great about... I'll just put that mirror right here. That would be perfect. I do feel great about this place. It's... A, it's, it's... My hair looks good. I look good for this show. Gary, I'm telling you, a little more makeup, a little more red in the hair. I'm Ronald McDonald. Oh, that's... That's not true. Okay, would you... You can take the mirror uh, into my bedroom and put it over the uh, bed, would you? 
hair look at. Yo, phone company, you shambling? Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm uh, shambling. Where do you want the jack? You just put one in the uh, bedroom and uh, one in the car. <laughs> one the phone in the car. That's not going to work. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. uh, why don't you put one in the kitchen? Why don't you put one in the bathroom? That's where I do most of my talking on the phone. Huh? <laughs> yeah, there's a pretty picture. <laughs> Put the phone in the bedroom. You let me know where you want the other one. All right, great. It's right where you're headed. She seems to sense where my bedroom is. That's pretty frightening. Hi. Oh, hi. You're Gary Shandling. Yeah. I've seen you on TV before. I think you are so funny. <laughs> Thanks. I'm here to install your cable. Oh, great. Uh, Gary, I think I'll go grade some papers. I'll check in with you later. All right, see you. See you later, Nance. Thanks. Well, for, it's a friend. Just a friend. So, you know, you really are a lot better looking in person. Really? You yeah. Think, well, you got to remember, television adds three to five pounds to your lips. And, uh, that's a good key to that. Come on in. So, uh, where's the TV? I'm going to put the TV go. right here. Or we yeah. can put it anywhere you want. No, no, no. This is fine. This is okay, fine. Okay, great. You know, you are the second celebrity that I've put in cable for this week. Really? Yeah. On Wednesday, I did Sonny Bono. Wow, so you've really had a full week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be easy. Whoever had this apartment before you had cable. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Vanna White lived here before me. No. Vanna White. Can you believe that? Are you kidding me? Vanna White from the Wheel of Fortune? No, from NASA. <laughs> Nobody can spin those letters like Vanna White. You know, they used to have this, uh... Susan Stafford, no comparison, honest, man. That Vanna is one hot act, I gotta say. You know, it may not be worth getting a phone. So, if I, now, if I have any trouble with this cable, will you be the one to come out and fix it? I would love to. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, That'd be great. Yeah, here's my card, and uh, I'll give you my home number just in case you have any problem after the office is closed. Oh, that's great, because I have a feeling it's going to break right away. The second you're out of here, I'm just going to be yanking the cord out of the wall. I want to use this, though. Thanks. Okay. Well, they moved all my stuff in, right? And they didn't nick a thing. Then as they're driving away, they hit my car with their van. Almost as if they were saying, didn't we forget to damage something? <laughs> what the? G Gary, I'm sorry, I thought you were looking. Yeah. That's uh, my friend, Pete. He's the area representative for Hush Puppies and the proud father of little Grant there. And because, you know, he's married and I'm single, we tend to be envious of each other's lifestyles. All right, let's go. Grant, you take Marvin, all right? How smart is this? I'll, I'll take Marvin. I'm taller. Thanks, Dad. Okay, Gary. All right, and uh, Grant, you take the outside, okay? okay. So we got a one-two zone. We got a man-on-man, -man, and we'll switch off on a pick. You got it. All right, we got him here now. No way. Here we go. All right. All right. I okay. Twenty-five to two. That's game. You guys don't want to play again, do you? No. I don't know. Good game, guys. Yeah, good game. Yeah, good game. Let's hope there were no women watching. All right. Way to shoot, Grant. If you hadn't gotten those two points, uh, we would have really been. Good. I think they'll let me. No, no, son, you had the hot hand. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Good. I want to take a new practice shot. Yeah, he's a great kid. So, uh, did you ever call that cable girl? No. I mean, did you call her? No. I mean, tell me you called her, huh? Pete, I didn't call well, her yet. What are you yet. crazy? Why don't you that? call her and go out and have a good time? I, I will call her. I will. I, I don't even know where I would take her, frankly. Well, on, uh, on Saturday nights, Jackie and I like to go into the Hendersons to play Yahtzee while, uh, <laughs> while Grant listens to records with their son, Ross. So why don't you join us? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's better than anything you've come up with. Right? <laughs> God, my life is boring. Hey, wait a minute. I'm sure under boring. the right circumstances, Yahtzee is really a... <laughs> All right, it's a little routine, but you got, look, you got a great family life. You got a great kid. You got a wonderful Gary, wife. Gary, my family I... does make me happy, but, but I have to admit, there are times I wish I was a, uh, 
happy swinging singles guy. Hey, you know? There are times I wish I was a happy swinging singles guy. <laughs> well, Gary, you are a singles guy. We know. We know. Huh? We know? What, what are you talking about? We don't, we, we don't know anything. You're the one who we knows more than I do. You're married. You do. How do you keep that going in a marriage anyway? Well, this is um, it's kind of embarrassing, but uh, sometimes late at night, instead of Pete Schumacher, yeah. Jackie thinks of me as Pete Rose. And sometimes I think of her as uh, Jackie Bissett. You know, that we can uh, act crazy and uh, not feel responsible. Well, that's a relief. For a second, I thought he was going to say Jackie Robinson. Hey, nice yeah. place, Gary. What do you think, son? It's roomy. So, uh... Yeah, so when is the furniture coming? Yeah, well, it came three hours ago. You know what? <laughs> I've been robbed. This is the ultimate insult. First, my girlfriend moves in with another guy. Now my stuff has moved in with another guy. All right, here's where we are now in the story, all right? My stuff has been stolen, and it, it was great stuff. You saw some of it at the top of the show. Now it's 20 minutes later, and I got to do this scene where I deal with the cop. And there was no sign of forced entry. But you should get a security uh, system. You know, they're supposed to put it in tomorrow. Well, good timing. This way, if they come for the carpeting, they'll be in for a big surprise. <laughs> well, son, I guess we've done all that we can here. Uh, Gary, call me if we could be of any help. All right, I'll see you guys. Dad? Yeah. How come these things always happen to Uncle Gary? I'll tell you in the car. How come? In the car. <laughs> Anyone else have a key to this place? Oh, uh, not that I can think of. What about the previous owner? Uh, you did change the locks. Uh, no, I didn't, but I can't picture Vanna White coming back to rob me. <laughs> well, neither can I. Vanna seems like an honest girl. Yeah. And, and how would she know that uh, I'm not uh, even here unless she's watching this show? Uh, no, this can't be. Not Vanna White. Uh, is there an R? Yes, there are four R's. to try to solve the puzzle is that I stole Gary Shandling's furniture. You're right. For $200, I'll take Gary's couch. For $325, his San Sui stereo. For Seventy-five, his female mannequin. For six dollars, his bug collection. For twelve dollars, his rack of lucky underwear. And I'll take the rest of the money on a gift certificate. I paid twice that for that rack of underwear. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's under control. Nancy, this is Officer uh, Weenie. That's Swing. The S wore off. Oh. I'm sorry, I, I didn't see that. I didn't notice that. Ma'am. Well, I've got a list of your things. Put a tracer on them. We'll see what happens in the next couple of days. Thanks. I'll keep in contact with you. Thanks a lot. Uh, Gary, I'm sorry this had to happen to you on your first day. And right after yeah. being dumped by Patty. <laughs> but if I were you, I wouldn't call a cable girl until you're over this thing. Feel a little better about yourself. Yeah, thanks. That's great advice. That's why I'm a cop. <laughs> okay, I appreciate it. You have a good day. Gary, what did you do? Tell him your whole life story? 
Oh, no, he, look, he seems like somebody I could talk to. That's all. Oh, Gary, this is really scary. I don't think I've ever been this close to an actual robbery before. I know. It's going to be all right. I, I'm sure they're not going to come back, you know, at least till I get my new stuff in here. Yeah, come I on, guess let's so. walk this way. Look at this. Oh, I feel bad for you. You have an empty apartment. I know. They even took my beauty parlor chair. What are they going to do with my beauty parlor chair? And, and be careful. This is where my table was. Mm -hmm. And the TV. They took the TV. Oh. Hey, did you ever call that cable girl? No, I haven't called her yet. But maybe this would be a good time. She said, if I ever have trouble with my cable, I should give her a call. And she said, look, I'm not getting any picture at all now. Maybe we could double. Maybe you and Steve and we could go out. Oh, no, no. That would be a terrible idea. A real mistake. No, Steve and I have got a lot of serious yeah. talking to do. Well, all right. Well, we can go out alone, I guess. Why don't you take her miniature golfing? Oh, come on. I'm in my 30s. I'm not going miniature golfing. <laughs> oh, Dad, can I also put in cable for Burt Lancaster? Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> So let me see if I have this right. You put in cable for Sonny Bono, yeah. right? Lionel right. Alzado, right. and uh, the guy who played the Cisco Kid, right. and um, Bruce Jenner. No, no, no. Bruce Jenner had the dish. Remember? Oh, that's right. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know how. I got it all screwed up. <laughs> and Michael Nesbitt and Evil Knievel. Right. <laughs> oh, you, that opening used to be much wider. I gotta bring my own clubs yeah. next time. It's these clubs. Okay, it's your turn. Your turn. Do you know David Lee Roth has 17 TVs in his house? No kidding. I would have guessed much higher. <laughs> I told you these were lucky. Builds the ham radio set. Right. But just before he gets ready to signal for help, Gilligan comes along and accidentally knocks the radio into the lagoon, oh. so they end up still being stranded. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> oh, God. I just ruined the whole no. thing for you, didn't no, I? No, no, you didn't. No, you, you can't get your hopes up too high on this show. No, no. <laughs> Go in knowing they're not getting off the island. If, they were, if as soon as they get off the island, the series is over. I, I knew something was going to happen. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do now? Well, how about if we just listen to some music? No, no, no. I know, I know. I'll show you my photo album. You know, I feel like I'm on Gilligan's Island. I can't get off this date. <laughs> Okay, now, this is me in high school with my best friend, Robin Blankman, uh -huh. which was taken on our senior trip to Washington, D.C., the day after Robin got her hair cut. Oh. Cool? oh, yeah, it does look, well, it's a little hard to tell next to the Pentagon there, but it looks cool. Robin doesn't have cable. Oh, well, that, that's too bad. I, I'm sure it'll be available soon in her area. <laughs> This is Cosmo when she was a kitten. Oh, really? Look how big she is now. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can you hear her furring? Yeah. Her furring. Gary, listen to her fur. <laughs> oh, Cosmo, did you miss me today? I miss you. Oh, yes, I did. Did you play with your mouse today? She loves to play with oh, her really? catnip mouse. Yeah, uh -huh. Isn't she a dog? Oh, she is. She's so cute. <laughs> she likes to sleep on my head. <laughs> Oh, yes, you do. You're my baby. Give Gary a kiss. No, no, that's okay. A... <laughs> I'll be right there. Meow. Is it 
me, or is this a little strange? I mean, obviously, I'm physically attracted to her, right? But I mean, if I'm completely honest, there's no relationship here. And I know that, and what's worse is, I, I think you know that too, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. So my recommendation, Alan, is to try the ribbed ones or perhaps lambskin for a penis such as yours. Thank you. And thank you, Alan. Now another caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Hello? Hi. Dr. Burks? Yes. Hi, uh, my name is, uh, let's say Gary. And what's your sexual problem, uh, Gary? Well, um, I had this date tonight, right? And it's actually not a sexual problem. Sounds but... like denial to me, Gary. <laughs> no, it's not denial, Dr. Burks. This girl wanted to go to bed with me, right? And, and I you just... couldn't get an erection. <laughs> no, she, she, we didn't go to bed because I didn't want to go to bed with because her. Because you couldn't get an erection. <laughs> hey, you weren't there. There's no need to be embarrassed, Gary. You're not alone with this problem with your penis. Now, how big... <laughs> Oh, yeah. This, this woman twists everything. I, I, I can't believe they left that on the air, that kind of stuff. Okay. Let's hear it. What happened on your oh, date? It was horrible. First, the girl sings the theme to Gilligan's Island, and the next thing I know, I'm kissing her cat. I'm, dry, I'm driving home. I coughed up a hairball. And how was, how was your night? Well, you've seen one roller derby. You've seen them all. Great, so we both had a good time. Let's eat. That's a great idea. They didn't steal our food. Oh, good. Okay, so uh, you kiss the cat, then what happens? Well, uh, I'm, nothing happened. I'm glad nothing happened, because, you know, if we'd had sex, what, I, I would have made love to her for 15 minutes, and then what? 15 minutes? No, 15 minutes, did I say 15 minutes? I meant four hours. I would have made... Seriously. I would have made love to her for six hours, and, and then what? she would have talked about was cable. That's all this woman talked about. That sounds just like Steve. You know, he's taking me to see the L.A. T-Bird skate four nights in a row. Yeah. Would you take a date to the same place four nights in a row? Well, I've never gone out four nights in a row, but, you know, if I did, I, I'm sure I'd mix it up a little. Well, I think I'm through with him. You should be. You don't need that in your life. Here, try some of this. This is a... This really cures the relationship laws. Sometimes I just make a mud pack and, and just smear it all over my face. Come on. That's sad, Gary. That's very sad. Well, I'll get it. Oh. It's Gary Shandling's show. Oh, yes, Officer Sweeney, he's here. Hey, 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 they found your furniture. Oh, great. Hello, Officer Sweeney. It was a scam being pulled off by your movers. They unload right. your furniture, wait for you to leave, then go right back in and get it. But the neighbors think they're still unloading. Wow. Damn, your life is exciting. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Ralph, thanks for all your trouble. I appreciate it. Glad we got your stuff back. I'm just sorry your date with that cable girl was such a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> but, Gary, you've that. got my phone number right. just in case you have any more relationship problems. Yeah, thanks, Ralph. That's uh, 911, right? <laughs> I can't believe you really kissed that yeah. cat. Keep that from the guys at the station, will you, Ralph? You know, that's why I envy your life. You, you date, you, you kiss cats, you, you have stuff stolen, and I, I still don't believe uh, that nothing happened between you and that cable girl. Gary, I want to know, hey. I, I need to know. I can't believe nothing happened with the cable girl, but nothing did. You're the one who turns into Pete Rose. Pete Gogolak last night. Pete Gogolak. He used to kick field goals for the New York Giants. So what, do you wear a helmet? Have to. <laughs> that's frightening. Oh, the laundry. Gary, do you want me to do anything before I leave? Laundry. No, that'll be it, uh, Pete. I'm just going to do the closing monologue, okay? Have a good one. Hey, you want to join us for dinner tonight? Maybe. Four o'clock, we have these coupons. <laughs> Boy, he really makes it sound appealing, doesn't he? 
Well, first of all, I want to apologize to Vanna White for ever thinking you could do such a thing, Vanna. And I also want to apologize to you for the daydreams I've had about you that we couldn't show on TV. And, uh... Oh, you're not going to believe this. I still have another guy who's in this show. This is my friend, Louis. He's a little late. Louis... The show's over, Lewis, and uh, now you're not in this no, show. Gary, I, I was on my way over to the show when this girl, she pulls up right. next to me in the intersection, you know. We start to we, talk, one thing leads to another. Well, we went back to her house, Gary and Lewis. Look at me, we don't have time to hear this. I'm a little wiped out right now, so. Well, yeah, I appreciate you coming in under these conditions, Lewis. I really do. You want to hold the credits? Okay. Now, see, we were going to show the credits and you screwed that up, okay? Because you're late. I, I, I feel guilty. Well, you should. <laughs> looks great. Now he's trying to make up for being late. Well, you'll get to meet Lewis next time. That'll be a reason to tune in, huh? <laughs> anyway, you know what I think I'm going to do tonight? I think I'm just going to uh, go in and uh, try the mirror out over the bed and... <laughs> I should be out by next week, so why don't you watch the closing credits and I'll see you then, okay? Good night, everybody. Just what's Gary Shandling up to next week? Oh, the one time he took care of our plants, they died. Yeah, but they were old. Maybe it was their time to go. Well, then imagine what happens when Pete and Jackie leave their son Grant under Gary's watchful eye. Grant? That was close. That was very close. That's a bowling ball. If that had hit you, I'd be in big trouble. Of course, it would have raised my average. And Grant ends up keeping an eye on himself. Barely. Gary! We did not poke his eye out. It did so. Look under the couch. And our son is now broken. I don't believe you broke our son. It's the all-new sitcom that's Tom turning Jackson. heads. See the GS? Okay. I stole these from Gail Storm. Okay. It's 